Hello, I'm Rick Torbett, and welcome to another full timeout by Better Basketball. The first step is to evaluate the defensive level of your opponents. Now, you probably already know this level. You know, it's something like, well, they guard the ball pretty good. You know, there's some pressure there, uh, but their help defense, it's only occasionally there. That's their level. Step two is to match the read and react offense layers to the defensive level of your opponent. Well now, in this case, you're only going to need the first three layers. There's no need in going into all the screening layers and that kind of stuff because you don't have to contend with any great, consistent helping positions. So, layers one, two, and three is all you're going to need. Step three is to figure out your player development skills that you're going to be working on with your players. You've got to grow your players, so what are you going to be working on? Well, this is easy. You match the player development skills with the read and react layers that you're running. So you, in this case, it's layers one, two, and three. You simply go look up the drills for layers one, two, and three, and then you're gonna rep them, and that becomes your player development section. Step four is to figure out what you're gonna teach on defense. Now, again, this is kind of easy. You already know you need to teach the defensive skills that it takes to guard layers one, two, and three but you always go one defensive level above that. So you're going to teach them how to guard the ball, that's layers one, two, and three, plus level two, how to guard away from the ball. See, if you're a defensive level ahead of your opponents, you have a chance of beating them all.